Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another video, guys. In today's video, this is once again going to be another set of five facts that you may or may not have known about Left 4 Dead 2. Thank you guys so much for the support, by the way, on the second episode. That was just phenomenal to me. Like, seriously, I did that, you know, back as a one-off on August the 1st for the first episode, and it wasn't meant to be a series, and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it again one more time and just see if there's a consistency with it. And just like the last time, in fact, actually more than the first episode, you guys showed a lot of love, so I just want to say thank you, I am forever thankful, and I'm more than happy to continue this series. So this is going to be the third installment into this series, and if you guys end up enjoying it at the end, I would definitely appreciate if you could drop a like and support once again. But yeah, guys, we're going to be getting into five facts that you may or may not know about Left 4 Dead 2 once again. Let me know what facts that you did or did not know for yourself personally in the comment section down below. And let's begin with today's video. Alrighty guys, so for our very first fact here, did you or did you not know that the M60 machine gun, the giant light machine gun that's in Left 4 Dead, actually reloads like the AK-47, it's just that because since the thing only has limited ammo and never does reload, that it can't be shown in game. But however though, with the ability to mod, you are able to make this happen. And now, now you're seeing on screen here some really crappy images that looks like I got this from like some really weird back alley. But no, I, I promise you that this is a legitimate thing, you can actually do this. It's just that these images are just really poor quality, but it's the only images I can remotely find that even show this because it's just such a very weird concept. And I try to Google it was a, a little bit of a stretch, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, if you theoretically could make the M60 reload, when they were initially building the thing, they must have used the AK-47 because that would explain why it reloads this way. And uh, yeah, it technically never got removed. It's just that you can't do it because of the fact that the gun doesn't ever reload. So, fun fact. Alrighty guys, now for this next fact, this fact isn't necessarily the most uplifting or positive in the world, but it is indeed a fact. So let's hop into what fact number two is. Did you or did you not know that originally when Left 4 Dead 2 was first coming out, there was a bit of controversy, and it's not exactly what you would think it would be. So, in Left 4 Dead 2, we all know that the zombies have d different tons of varieties, even with the special infected. We all know that there's the tank, the witch, the smoker, the jockey. We all know that there's tons of variety with the, the specials. They're almost, uh, they almost have their own personalities, if you will. And the thing was, though, is that some people thought that Left 4 Dead 2 was actually racist for having black zombies. Now, you can feel free to have your own opinion about this as you wish. And I'm going to refrain from uh, saying anything just in case, you know, you know, c considering cancel culture, I say anything like slightly out of context, it's going to be bad. So I'm just going to let you guys just know that this exists. But I will just say this, at least, is that I do think that this is something that uh, is almost a little bit uh, coincidental how that Left 4 Dead had something very similar to what Back for Blood had for controversy recently, considering the fact that Back for Blood had controversy due to its zombies having a sound that sounded a lot like the N-word, even though it was completely unintentional. I just found that very coincidental, don't you think? Alrighty guys, but now we're going to be moving on to a more positive fact, something more fun and silly. And it's also kind of coincidental once again. Did you or did you not know that the voice actress that plays Rochelle in Left 4 Dead 2, her first name is also Rochelle. She literally is just Rochelle for her first name, a exact carbon copy of her character that she plays, which I think is really, really cool. The full real name of the Rochelle voice actor is actually Rochelle Eights, and I just find that kind of funny how that Rochelle is played by Rochelle. <laughs> it's very coincidental, and I think it's actually kind of fitting, because not only is she actually seem like she is Rochelle, but she literally looks like Rochelle. I know that she's only the voice actor and not the actual face model, that there was actually a different person for that, but I'm serious, Rochelle for the voice actress could pull off also the facial model for the actual Rochelle. Her name's Rochelle, she looks like Rochelle. I think that she literally at this point is the real life Rochelle. <laughs> Alrighty guys, now coming into our next fact here, did you or did you not know that originally there was a, another special infected that was meant to be in Left 4 Dead called the Leaker? The Leaker is actually something that was scrapped, and because it's scrapped content, there really isn't too, too much information online. And really the only thing you can end up getting is from only certain websites or word of mouth. It's actually one of those funny things that's old enough and not necessarily that well known. That makes it kind of like a mystery, a, a, a little bit of a folktale, if you will. 
But yeah, it's true. Uh, in fact, it's actually why a lot of people refer to sometimes the special infected as the leaker. Sometimes people will just like subconsciously think of a name and that's what their brain goes to. And that's like what or, like, will happen. That's what like their brain thinks of and they could slip up. Now, even though that, yes, people know that's not the leaker, it's just a term that sometimes people will use kind of like as a filibuster for when they're trying to think of a special infected name that's just on the tip of their tongue. And then lastly, we got one more fact here. For the final fact, did you or did you not know that originally there was going to be one more type of drop that was in Left 4 Dead? You know how that we had the frag rounds and the incendiary rounds? Well, believe it or not, there was actually going to be one more type of ammo box, and this was just going to be a flat-out ammo box. Nothing special about it. The ammunition was literally the exact same and basically functioned like the back for blood ammo box that we have now. You would just carry it with you in your inventory, and when you would run out of ammo, if you can't find any ammo later on in the map, you just carry your own, and then you deploy when needed. It's really funny how that some of the Left 4 Dead stuff that got scrapped eventually made its way into back for blood, so it lives on in spirit form, which is really, really nice. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be it here for another five facts that you may or may not have known about Left 4 Dead 2. And I do truly hope you guys end up enjoying. If you did, please end up dropping a like, comment, and subscribe to show your guys support. It would mean a lot to me. And if there's any particular fact that you did or did not know, please let me know what they were. I really am curious what is something that you did know versus what you don't know. Because not everybody knows everything. People only know sometimes select things. I'm just curious to see what the majority is in comparison. But yeah, guys, if you also would like to financially support the channel, I would definitely appreciate if you guys could also check out my Patreon. It's always linked down below in all my YouTube video descriptions. Or you guys could use supporter creator code BLACKNINJA797 in all caps in the Fortnite Epic Games item shops because Epic is my very first sponsor, and they were sponsoring today's video here, so shout out to Epic Games. But yeah, guys, I hope you end up enjoying seeing another YouTube video from the most unique YouTuber you guys are ever going to see. Thank you for watching, guys, and peace out. Hey, meme lords, Jesus here, and you better have enjoyed that video there by the eternal god Daddy Ninja. You should probably subscribe too, or the mighty Moab will come for your balls. If you enjoyed the video, you might like it too, and give me the memes. Flash, bang, boom! Hey, you there. Look out your window. I'm spying on you.